Mbuvi Sonko, governor of the great city of Nairobi, to make his welcoming remarks. Sonko's biggest moment and big moments demand new ways and style. Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Kenya, Uhuru Kenyara. Kenyara? Where did that come from? Great to have President Kenyatta of Kenya and First Lady Kenyatta. Thank you very much for being here. Ah, Sonko is a good student after all, and there is much more he has picked up. Nairobi is proud to be the first city in the world to host this very important and exciting conference. Another one from the city of Nairobi. But why not just Kenyatta, Bwana Sonko? Uh, our guests now have already washarudi uh, kwa nchi zao. So kwa niyaba ya rais Kinyata, not Kinyara. Because... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because wa genyo tu wasa wanaenda. Kwa nika tunatumia ya kukaribisha international communities, but please, even with the visitors gone, we beg Governor 047 to stick to this. Don't go back to this. However much you may consider yourself Mutu Amkono for the city of Nairobi. I think itakuwa Mutu Amkono wa huru kwanzea sasa. Now, there is a statement that's causing Steve indigestion both within and without. Katiba inasema, Deputy President, ndiyo mutu ya mukono ya rais. Wow, he is saying that mutu ya mukono wa uhuru is actually a constitutional office. Kuna mungine pale kasarani ambaya aliapishwa kwamba atasaidia uhuru kanyata. Sia watu wengine tu ni kujaribu jaribu na kudoea doea. Lakini mutu mwenye hako na kazi ambaye amepatiwa na katiba ya Kenya ni mimi. You heard me say mutu wa mukono and people are misinterpreting that. <laughs> Wale watu wanasumbuka na hile kazi wanafanya waende wasome katiba. Taingini ukichukua painful decision, people will always have a few questions. In the August house, it was all about numbers. Numbers that could not add up as the quest for equity dragged on. We seek some wisdom from the young on this issue. The ones who are insisting that we are not supposed to pass this bill, they are ladies, because they are saying that they do not understand the criteria which will be used by the leaders to nominate those uh, women. But Mweshimiwa, what do we do? You can see there was a risk in tax, there was a hacking. Uh, at the heaven when we will hand these numbers in parliament, at the same time we are going to hand another bulk to the uh, common monarchy where they will have to pay more so that they can uh, satisfy them or they can pay the salaries of these uh, nominated members. We, shukuru. we seek change, even if it means men wearing skirts. And why not? DP Ruto has done it and no kiburi here. Na sisi wafugaji tuwache kiburi. Najua sisi wafugaji tuko na kiburi sana tunadharau wanawake. As for MM, he is sticking in NASA. But why ma DVD? Sisi tunikuja na hiyo NASA. Kweli ya mawongo? Kweli. Na mimi ndio nilikuwa nasema hiyo NASA hawa. Sinamuna hiyo? Still, he has a problem with the son of Samuel's money. This is not something. Who is masquerading as an extremely wealthy person? But his wealth is nothing but theft. Ichungwa, what's that they are saying about William's money? Nasema uyu pesa anatoa ni kuhima meima. Mimi nilauliza sitaki kuzema ina duwana ya mimi. Imeidiwa ya nani? We started with a twang. Uhuru Kenyara. We end with a wang in Kiswahili this time. Zuamini laki kama na roo kubwa. Emmanuel Juma, Bullseye, NTV.